Hello. I've, uh, I've wanted to try the Japanese art of Kintsugi for a long time. Uh, and when I broke my wife's favourite glass, it was the uh, ideal chance. If you've never heard of Kintsugi before, it's the Japanese for golden and joinery. The idea being not to discard a broken object, but to highlight the flaws and let the scars carry on the journey. <laughs> I'm laughing at me, not Kintsugi. And here's the glass itself. It's the uh, the house logo of a Gryffindor. <laughs> and I hope I've got that right. And I actually remember it being broken a lot more than this, so uh, it's going to be a much quicker project than I imagined. Examining it more closely, it seems to be quite a clean break. So I first considered using Araldite for this because it came with a 90 minute working time. See? Get out of my face! And I also looked at some 5 minute epoxy but decided that probably isn't as necessary just for this one break. In the end I settled for some super glue and some activator so it should be all in place really quickly. For the gold aspect, I consider getting some gold leaf or gold mica powder to mix in. But seeing as it's a small job, I decided to uh, raid the model paints. And found some Vallejo game colour in glorious gold. And it's the first time with this camera, so uh, I'm sure I'll learn how to focus it one day. And so I didn't glue myself to the glass, <laughs> or the glue itself, or the table. I put some vinyl gloves on and then ran a line of glue around the brake. And it slotted nicely into place. And uh, while it sat there I used some activator just to uh, speed up the curing process. And I'm glad I did because I think if I put tape across it, we wouldn't have got the nice welded joined around. put a blob of paint into a palette and after a few practice swipes and some paper I started working on it. It's all going rather quickly isn't it? <laughs> For the cleanup I have this really convenient wedge bit of wood that's pointed at one end and flat on the other. You could use a cocktail stick or even sharpen a lolly stick. I think I used all three on this just to see what would uh, be the best. And so then I set about tidying up the edges around the world joint because I have the uh, ability to stain the lines of a four year old with a uh, colouring in book. And here we have the finished piece. Uh, it's all scarred and covered in gold. I think if I was to do a bigger project I would use this technique again. I hope this video was in any way useful to you and if you liked it you can stick around to see more me, of me making and crafting things. Or if you're interested in seeing me making guitars I've got another channel where I do that quite a lot. I'll put links on the screen and in the description for all those things. Thank you for making this far, and goodbye.